One 2.2 anime was just recently released and it's been causing some waves on social media. It might be getting a lot of attention because of how well it does character replacement and generates amazing hair and clothing physics based on your movements and how easy it is to use. And it's now available on Glyph and I'm going to show you some interesting use cases. Let's get into it. This workflow is very straightforward and easy to use. All you need is a video, a reference image, and a simple prompt. So there are a few ways you can go about using this. You could, for example, decide that you don't want to swap the character in the video, but instead you want to add something to the character. Like you might want to give your subject robotic arms, sunglasses, tattoos, chains, pretty much anything you can imagine. The best way to do this is through an image edit generator like Nano Banana or C Dream. You can simply get a screenshot of your subject and use it as an input like I'm doing here in this Nano Banana workflow and type in, in a prompt like give this person a pink mohawk, neck tattoos, sunglasses and a leather jacket. And this is what it gave me. And now this could be your reference image. Let's go ahead and test it out. All right, we'll grab a video and upload it here and I will put my reference image here with a simple prompt like man with the mohawk plus an action. Sometimes adding specific actions to your prompt helps capture certain movements. For example, I want the mohawk to shake when my head moves. If I don't spell that out, the model might not animate it at all because for all it knows, my hair could just be stiff, locked into place with gel or hairspray. <laughs> now let's run this. And there it is. The background and motion stay the same and the prompt helped the hair move more loosely with my head shake. Okay, let's try something different. Let's generate a completely different person with a different background. You can use any image generator or any image you find online. For this, I will use a Quinn workflow to generate an image. So let's try a prompt like a very buff woman at the gym flexing. This workflow generates realistic raw iPhone style photos, which I think makes for a more interesting example since it gives everything a more raw look. All right, let's go with this. Now I just repeat the process I did earlier. And this is what I got. This time I completely transformed both the subject and the background while still matching all the movements from the original video. As you can see, it's a very cool tool that is super easy and simple to use. And you can start working with this right now. There's a link below in the description for you to try it. All right, everyone, that's it for today, but we got a lot more content coming your way, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.